solids, liquids, and gases are all made of matter. Matter can change from one state to another. We can demonstrate this easily with water. When you pour water into a pan, it is a liquid. It pours, and it is wet, and it has no shape of its own. If we put the pan in the freezer for a couple of hours, the water will change to another state. Can you guess what it is? Why, look at that. The water has turned to ice, which is a solid. The water turned from a liquid to a solid because the cold robs the molecules of heat energy and they move closer together, becoming dense. If we heat the pan, we return the energy back to the molecules. The water molecules start moving faster and faster and further apart until the ice turns back to liquid water. You can see after a few moments of heat, the ice has turned back into liquid water. Wow! But we're not finished yet. As the water gets hotter, some of the molecules even rise into the air becoming water vapor. This is called evaporation. Question! This diagram represents water in a container. What process is taking place? Is it A, freezing? B, condensation? C, melting? Or D, evaporation? Did you guess? The answer is D, evaporation. Oh, we've seen examples of liquids and gases, but do molecules take up less space as a liquid or a gas? Let's try an experiment and find out. We're here in the tax kitchen to conduct our experiment. For this particular experiment, we will need a pot holder, a plastic half gallon container, the cap, half a cup of water, and a microwave. Wow! Since this experiment involves heat, you must have adult supervision. Whatever! First, we will take the half cup of water and pour it into the container. Then, we will put the container in the microwave for two minutes. It's done! After two minutes, we use the pot holder to remove the jug. Place it on the counter and watch what happens like magic. <laughs> the container begins to collapse on its own. What has taken place here to cause the collapse of this container? Hmm. Let's go back to the lab and discuss it. When we heated the jug in the microwave, some of the liquid water molecules turned into fast-moving gas molecules. We call that steam or water vapor. When the water molecules are in the gas state, they move around quickly and they take up more space. We put the cap on the jug, trapping these poor water vapor molecules inside. <laughs> then, as the water in the jug cooled off, these water vapor molecules turn back into 
liquid water. The liquid water molecules don't move around as much, and they take up less space. That's what made the jug contract. Question! <coughs> what would happen if we took the cap off of the jug? A. All of the water would spill on the table. B. It would stay the same shape. C. It would expand back to normal size. Or D. It would turn into a chicken. Did you guess C? It expands back to normal size because air molecules rush in to fill the empty spaces. Man, those gas molecules travel fast. <laughs> cool.